Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the HTC One, which was finally released here in the United States yesterday. You can now pick them up at AT&T stores. Uh, there's the 32 gigabyte model, which I bought. Uh, that's available for $199 on a two-year contract. And then there's also the 64 gigabyte model, which you can purchase uh, on AT&T.com. That's available for $299 uh, with that two-year contract. So this is the white and silver color. Uh, you can pick one up that's black. That will be coming sometime in the future. So taking a look at the front of the box, you've got the HTC One logo. We've got a front and rear picture of the device. Uh, we've got the AT&T carrier logo. And then if you do happen to return this device, there will be a $35 restocking fee. Let's go ahead and flip the box over. We've got a nice rundown of the specs. I'll just go ahead and zoom in there so you can guys get a closer look at that. So of course it's running Android with HTC Sense. That's HTC Sense version 5. And then it's running Android 4.1.2. So that's not the latest version of Android, but it is in fact uh, Jelly Bean. So you will get Google now and the voice search features installed on here. Uh, rumors are saying that that 4.2 update uh, should be coming in the next one to two months. Uh, for the CPU, it's running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600, which is a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core CPU. It's using a micro SIM uh, card slot. For storage, I chose the 32 gigabyte model. For RAM, there's two gigabytes on the inside. Uh, the display is a 4.7 inch screen uh, at a resolution of 1080p, so that comes in at 468 pixels per inch. That's a very, very high pixel density, and this is one of the most pixel, den pixel dense mark, uh, phones on the market right now, if not the highest. Um, some of these other features I'll get more into, uh, more into when I do the review, like the HTC Boom Sound, um, the Beats I.O. and things like that. Uh, it does have the HTC Ultra Pixel camera. That's only a 4 megapixel camera, but don't let that megapixel number fool you. I'll talk about that uh, in the review as well. Uh, it's got a 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera. There's the headphone jack, micro USB port, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, and NFC. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what comes inside. So unfortunately, when I did purchase this device at the AT&T store, they activated it for me. So the box is not sealed and the phone isn't in the original wrapping, but I've gone ahead and put everything back together. I haven't touched any of the accessories or anything like that. So let me go ahead and pop the lid off. And we've got a quick start guide here on the top. So this will just get you started with using your new smartphone for the first time. I'll go ahead and set that to the side. And then here is the HTC One itself and set that to the side as well. Go ahead and pop off this lid and we'll see what else comes in here. So we've got the uh, AC charger. You can plug this into the wall. Uh, go ahead and take that out of the wrapping. Closer look at it. Okay, so it's got the HTC logo on it. And then the uh, USB cord, which I'll open up next, we'll plug into the back there. This is the micro USB cord, so the other, uh, the one end plugs into the charger, the other end plugs into the bottom of the phone. So here's that. And then last but not least, there is an included pair of headphones. Uh, they look like they're pretty decent headphones. Uh, in here, ed headphones, so maybe they'll cancel out a little bit of noise. And uh, we've got some ear tips as well, so depending on what ear size you have, you can replace these. Um, looks like we've got a sticker here. Uh, this sticker has some important like information about my device on the other side, like the serial number and the IMEI number, so I don't want to show that on camera, but if you ever have to like send your device in for repair, you send the sticker in with it so they know uh, the information about your device. So I'll set that to the side. Uh, here is the SIM tray removal instructions with a SIM card removal uh, tool, so you just pop that into the side there to go ahead and remove the SIM card slot. We've got the safety and regulatory guide. We've got the limited warranty on HTC products information. And then last but not least, we got two HTC stickers. So let's go ahead and take a closer look then at the phone. Here's a closer look at the front of the HTC One. And the first thing I noticed is just how beautiful this smartphone is. I really think the build quality here is outstanding. And when you take a look at all those other Android handsets out there that are made of plastic, I think the HTC One is really going to separate itself in terms of build quality. It feels like something you know that's a high-end smartphone and something that you would want to spend 200 or 300 bucks uh, to go ahead and purchase. So if you haven't seen one in real life, I would recommend going to uh, a retail store to see one because I really don't think the video here uh, does uh, this phone justice in terms of how great it looks and how great it feels 
uh, in the hand and I would put it right up there with the iPhone 5 design if not better it's just that good. So now I'll take a quick tour of the front of the device. Here is the 2.1 megapixel front facing camera and then right here on the top and the bottom we've got the boom sound speakers. These things sound really really great. Uh, they're not like state of the art or anything but compared to all the other smartphones out there they're really loud and they sound very nice. Uh, we've got the HTC logo there in the center. That's not actually a dedicated button. It's just the logo. So if you're used to a smartphone with a home button on it, that might take some getting used to. Um, but then there's the home button. And if you double tap that, that'll bring up uh, the apps that you have in the background. And then here is the back button. Here is the back of the phone where we've got the ultra pixel camera, the LED flash. And you can see we've got that white uh, accent going on there, the HTC logo in the front. Uh, then we've got an AT&T carrier logo there so it's nice and subtle it doesn't take uh, it, it doesn't I think detract from the amazing design of the phone uh, beats audio and then of course another white accent so here's what it looks like uh, in its entirety on the top of the phone we've got the headphone jack and the power and sleep wake switch we've got on this side the micro SD sim card slot right there so that'll just pop out using that tool that I showed you in the unboxing uh, on the bottom we've got the micro USB port and then on this side, we've got the volume rocker. So here's a look at the HTC One with its display turned on. And that 1080p resolution really does look great uh, on this phone. Now, uh, the first thing that I did actually when I unboxed this thing was actually go ahead and root it. That way I could remove some of the AT&T bloatware that was installed on here. And also now I can pretty much do whatever I want with the device. Now, I'm also not a big fan of manufacturer overlays like HTC Sense or TouchWiz. So what I did was actually install Nova Launcher to remove some of that influence. However, when I do do the final review of this phone, I will be covering the included HTC Sense features like Blink Feed and Zoe. I also look forward to then in the future comparing this with the Samsung Galaxy S4 when that device finally launches in the United States here in the next few weeks. I'll let you guys know which device I like better. Um, some things I could show you right now, of course, are the uh, multitasking tray here. So you can see the nice icons. I like how it pulls up a nice window so you can see what you were last doing in that application. You can swipe up to remove it, and it shows your last nine windows that you had open. And I can go ahead and just open up the app. It works very, very fast. Uh, another thing, of course, I really like to use with Android is the Google Voice Search. I think that, you know, it's really awesome. It works very, very well. So my initial impressions of this device, you know, the performance is great. I can't see any lag with that Snapdragon. 600 CPU on the inside and I really do look forward to doing that final review for you guys So let me know what you guys think about this uh, phone in a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video